Welcome to another episode here with Queen City Reefs and more. I appreciate you being here with me today. Today I just wanted to bring a discussion again of the CO2 scrubber. As most of you know, those that have been following my channel, I installed a CO2 scrubber over a year ago now. And I know it's over a year ago because the media that I purchased from eBay, which is not your ice cap or your bulk resupply, a five gallon container full of the CO2 scrubbing media. And literally I, was, I had just purchased another one. And when I looked back, I saw that I purchased it about a year ago. So I've actually had this scrubber running for over a year now. And I've, I have some possibly final thoughts but before we get to that, if you are not already subscribed, please consider subscribing. If you have not joined my Facebook group yet, I'll make sure that the details of the Facebook group is on the description below. Same goes for my Instagram. We are getting very close to the 1000 subscriber mark and I do wanna do a giveaway. I have tried to gain my subscribers without actually doing many giveaways. I've done maybe one or two. I've tried to gain my subscribers just by the interest of the videos. So I can say that every single one of you are here today, are watching this video right now because you are truly interested. And because of that, I feel like I want to do an actual meaningful giveaway. And that giveaway will be of an SPS frag pack of my corals from this tank actually you have to be in the United States of America. I cannot ship you know, overseas. There's a lot of paperwork, I believe, that's involved with all that, and it just makes it impossible. So those that are overseas, I truly appreciate you being subscribed. I'm sorry that you cannot be included. I am thinking of making more shirts, my Queen City Reef shirts, and possibly making that something that I will ship internationally. More to come on that. But for the 1,000 subscribers, I will do an SPS frag pack. I will include some of my very nice corals, like for example, I will do the PC Rainbow, the Cali Tort, Bubblegum Digitata. I will even do a frag of my Orange Passion, Tenuous. I would say the Walt Disney, but I've cut quite a bit of it and I need to let it grow. Hey, maybe if by the time I get to the 1,000 subscribers, it's, if it takes long enough, I'll include even a frag of the Walt Disney as a thank you to everyone that has subscribed, everyone that continues watching my videos, and all that you will have to cover is shipping. With that out of the way, let's talk about what we're here for today. Today's discussion is on the CO2 scrubber. This right here is my Kalkwasser reactor. Um, we can discuss this in a future video, how it's going. So far, so good. I don't have any complaints. It still continues, the motor still continues to work. Soon I will do a video on installing a pH probe right through this uh, area right here because I want to be able to monitor when the pH level starts going down in the reactor to know when to add more because right now I'm relying on the actual pH going down in the tank and by the time I catch it, you know, cause it goes down in very small increments. So then I'm like, should I, should I not, should I, should I not? I probably should, but I do have a module and a pH probe. So I figured why not? Anyway, so today we're talking to the CO2 scrubber. And if you've watched my previous videos, you'll see that I was talking wonders about this product and how I appreciated the fact that I took it from 7.6, 7.7 to 8.3, 8.4 sometimes. But in the last maybe six, three to six months, I haven't been able to get those results, which is why I installed the Kalkwasser reactor. I've been now getting to where without scrubber media, I still am at 7.6, 7.7, but with it, I was only getting 7.8 to 7.9 and sometimes 8.0. So it was a bit odd because I, I can't explain it. I haven't done much different. It was, it's been CO2 scrubber with two part, the two part solution that I've used, it has changed through time because I'm testing out different things just with my tank, what works best. Uh, that's another update, another future update because there has been some consequences to that. Not major, but a bit of die off. So I did buy, purchase another five gallons of CO2 media and I'm gonna continue using it, but I think eventually I'm gonna 
get off of it and use solely just calc washer and see if by itself I can keep it at 8.3, 8.4. Right now the media and the CO2 is already exhausted. So I'm actually, that's what I'm down here for to change it. And I figured, hey, let me grab the camera real quick, set up the light real quick. That way we can uh, get to talking a bit about the CO2 scrubber. If you understand how CO2 media works, it's supposed to absorb the CO2 in the air before it goes into the skimmer and then before it then goes into your tank. And that way it, it, it removes the additional CO2 that, it, that, that is normally taken up by the skimmer so that your pH stays highest. It works, I can still see a difference, but it's not making a big difference to where I, what, when I first installed it, what I used to get. And I don't know how to explain that. Because CO2 media can get quite expensive, because the CO2 scrubber reactor can be quite expensive, and because I know that Calcwasser is able to keep my pH at 8.1 at night, 8.0 sometimes, but it raises it in the daytime, it gets to 8.2, 8.25. Because I know that Calcwasser is doing the same thing, but at the same time adding calcium, there's plenty of videos that explain how Calcwasser works, so I didn't feel that I needed to go through that, but if you do, please be, you know, anything that you have questions or you want me to be thorough about or you want me to get very technical about, leave that in the comments below and I will definitely make sure that I get scientific if I need to. Of course, I'll need to read some stuff before I present it to you, but you know, if that's what you're looking for here, let me know and I will definitely make videos about that. That being said, because not only is it raising my pH, but it has other benefits as well. When I said, talked about calcium primarily, I'm almost thinking like, is it, re is it really worth it to have a CO2 scrubber, especially if you plan to run a calc reactor? And long story short, no. Either way, I do have this platform to talk to you about my tanks and about anything else you'd like to discuss. And I think I will still end up purchasing things just to try them out and then to give you my feedback from a real user experience, right? Because I'm not sponsored, not saying that I never will be, but I, I will definitely keep my word on always talking honest about anything and any everything that I get if I ever get anything for free. But in the meantime, you know, you know that I, I'm not paid for any of this. So, I mean, it, does it work for me? It was working wonders before. It's not working as effectively as it was before. Not sure if it's user error, if I'm doing something wrong. I know that whenever I first uh, purchased it, I let it run as is for quite some time before I then turned it into a recirculating scrubber. And I was having issues with a lot of humidity getting in there and affecting the media. I connected it a different way where the humidity was collecting at the bottom of the CO2 scrubber, which was working, but then it kept uh, collecting all this humidity and eventually started the, the water inside started rising and it caused issues again. I know that they sell things that you could put like a filter in between to trap that humidity, but I'm getting to a point where I have way too much stuff down here, too much stuff to keep up with. When I was running it through a recirculating one, it did last a lot longer, but the effectiveness was not as it was in the beginning where I would get up to 8.3. The effectiveness was up to 8.1, it was my high. And so I was like thinking, mm, do I want to keep it there and then make it last longer? Do I want it to last the two to three weeks that it used to, but keep it at 8.3? So I left it like that for quite some months and then I changed it back. I removed the CO2 scrubber uh, inserts that I had and I decided to, to change it back. But ever since I changed it back, I could not get the same results for whatever reason or another. So I'm gonna keep using it because I have the CO2 media that I just purchased um, and most likely that will last me for another year. So it'll give me time to try different methods, whether it's connecting it from one of the hoses to the other area, have it suck up from the top versus the bottom, moving the, the CO2 scrubber to a different location, maybe outside of the cabinet instead of the inside of the cabinet, I'm not sure. I feel like if I do the outside though, it, it, will, it will exhaust even faster because this is the area we live in and there'll be more CO2 in the air, but I'm just gonna try different things while I have this. Um, once I exhaust what I have of CO2 media, most likely I will not be connecting it. Um, I don't know if I'll sell the CO2 scrubber uh, reactor. Um, normally I'm, I'm a hoarder when it comes to, uh, to gear for the tanks. I have several lights that I haven't even connected anywhere because of my idea is like, I'm gonna set up a, I'm gonna set up a frag tank and I'm gonna need these lights for that. I'm gonna need these pumps for that, so on and so forth. And then I never set anything up, but yet I still keep them. 
So I'm not sure if I'll sell it or if I'll uh, just put it up and store it in case I need it for maybe a different tank. You know, maybe it'll be more effective on another tank. You know, I, I, I wanted to talk real quick, honestly, about the CO2 scrubber. What has my experience been since I've installed it over a year ago? I know I made this video longer than what I was expecting. You know, that's why, that's why I said I didn't want to talk about the calc reactor because this video could go on for another 18 to 20 minutes and then we'll never get out of here. So. Uh, we'll definitely leave this calc reactor for another video. I'm going to connect the pH probe. I'll bring you along with that so you get an idea of what I do and how I connect it to the apex. But for now, CO2 scrubber, would I, would I do it again if I knew that I was going to calc washer? No. I would just connect the calc washer reactor. We should have purchased, should have spent my money with that and connected it right away, being that it gave me so much more, so many more benefits than using a CO2 scrubber, knowing that eventually I was coming to calc anyways that is it that is my quick final thoughts or review whatever you want to call this of the co2 scrubber and this is not a review on the co ice cap co2 scrubber by all means even though yes i put this on a title and the media and all that stuff but that's only because that's what i'm using it was working for me before it it still works uh with you know with it than without it but it's not giving me again the effect that i was getting when i first connected this Again, this could be user error, something I changed. Maybe uh, the, the two part that I used to use before in conjunction with this was what what's helping. Maybe the corals are just growing uh, much larger that it's causing some other react. I, I don't know, to be honest. I mean, I, at this point, I like the way Calc is working. I've been using it for the last few months and so far so good. So, you know, of course, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna do the same thing for the Calc reactor long, long term to see if it's something that I, you know, change my mind about or whatever the case may be. But for the time being, I think I'm going to keep it and I uh, will get back to you on another video to talk more about it. For now, I'm going to let y'all go uh, back to uh, the holiday weekend. I just want to wish everyone a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Thank you so much. I truly appreciate that you're here with me today. Um, if again, if you haven't subscribed, please make sure to consider subscribing. Hit that like button. Leave a comment below. I will catch you on the next one.